everybody and welcome back to my channel today I am back with another DIY I know it's been a while since my last DIY but with two kids I I'm setting myself up for failure if I plan one so bear with me here bear with me so anyway today I do have a short quick easy DIY and that is on how to personalize your own tote. It requires no vinyl heat transfer, no sewing, and it's really easy, uh, very quick and inexpensive. I was on the hunt for a small bag that I could carry as a diaper bag um, for short trips, like if I'm going to the store, if I'm going uh, to the park with the kids just for a few hours, like I don't need to carry my big backpack. Um, I love it, but it gets heavy. And I tend to overpack when I, the bigger the bag, the more I pack in it. So I wanted something small where I would only fit the necessities. So I found this um, messenger bag, messenger tote at Joanne's. And I thought like, I wanna make it my own, you know, it's too plain. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that you will need for this. And then we will jump right into the project. So this is the messenger bag that I found at Joann's. It's really, it's pretty small, but fits a lot of, uh, it fits a lot in it. Um, it has the two pockets on the sides and it is uh, Velcro. Uh, so I got that, but really you can use anything. You can use a t-shirt, you can use a tote bag, um, a regular tote if you want to do like a tea towel, whatever. This photo fabric, it's actual fabric, but it has like a lining of paper in the back. And you just put it in your printer, print it out, peel and uh, sew, but I promise no sewing. So I do have this liquid stitch handy at all times. So this is what I will be using and it really works. It holds on. I use it for everything. And scissors. Printer um, prints straight out, then you would put it with the fabric side up. If it's one of like the up and over printers, then you would do it with the fabric facing down. So mine is one of those straight ones. I'm just gonna put it in with the fabric side up. So this is what I printed out. I have this pattern, I found it on Pinterest, and I also printed out our last name. So I wanted it to cover like the whole um, flap of the bag, but it's not gonna happen. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in some way so it fits only alongside, like at the bottom. And then I will go ahead and add the last name on the top. So after you let it dry for a few minutes, you're gonna go ahead and peel the paper backing from the fabric. I think it's going to be a lot easier to cut it while the paper is still on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in circle like that and then peel it. And this also, I'm gonna find a way of how I'm going to cut it and then I will cut it before peeling it just because it's not the full page that I'm going to use. I'm, uh, because I'm going to be cutting it. If I were to be using the whole page like this, of course I would just peel it, no problem. But I think I'll get better lines if I cut it before peeling it. So, yeah. So I've gone ahead and uh, folded it in threes and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it along the folds. After you have have it cut out how you'd like, then you're gonna go ahead and peel it. So after uh, running it in cool water for 30 seconds, this is what I have now and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it out how I want it before gluing it down. So the last time I used this glue, I didn't close it properly so it dried up a little bit on me and I couldn't use the tip. So 
I had to use my finger don't try this at home uh, use like a toothpick or something else uh, but I had to use my finger and it just made the process a little harder and messy but it would have been so much easier if you know everything went as planned and the glue wasn't dried out but whatever so I went ahead and spread this glue all over the edges of the fabric and this holds on so well and it's not going anywhere and it does dry clear so it's perfect so if you get a little bit more on the edges don't worry it will dry clear so last night while editing I changed my mind I didn't want the red anymore um, I didn't think it went with the whole color scheme so I decided to print out another one but in black now I mean this is not going anywhere so I had to put it over the red and you can kind of see it but we're not gonna tell anybody nobody's gonna stare at it for that long so there you go but this like I said it's not going anywhere and you just wash in cold and lay flat to dry and there you go so I added this in black and then in the back I wanted to do a little detail so I printed this out and it says mom dad David third and Diego that's our little family and that's it it's all packed in 